Today we're starting on our next stone in the pillar of presence and I'm so excited. You know, it's cold this morning, at least for somebody from Phoenix here. It's not like freezing, but cold enough to wear a hoodie and, and hot enough in Phoenix not to. I'm in the beautiful Mill Creek Ravine in Edmonton, Alberta, where we just opened our international office. And here is the amazing thing. We're building the pillar of presence presence, being, and you know, the first stone we talked about was the presence inside, and the second one we talked about was the presence outside, and we went through those thoroughly, and the third was receiving, and your ability and willingness to be tuned up and receive, and today is the stone of sending, sending presence. That doesn't mean strutting and being noisy, that doesn't mean trying to prove something, it is the being that you are, being aware of and understanding, which is what presence is, right? Aware of and understanding the projection that you are creating, the presence that you are projecting, sending out in the world. Is it what you mean to send out? Is it who you really are? Is it a presence of fear, of doubt, of worry, of procrastination? Or is it a presence of calm assurance, of ability, of willingness to try, of willingness to make mistakes, of willingness to collaborate, cooperate, move and do and create? The pillar of presence is so critical if you want to have power. Remember, we're talking about how to build a palace of power that's huge, that's unstoppable, that lets you create anything in life that you want for yourself, for your legacy, and for those around you. And the pillar of presence is critical. Today, the fourth stone, sending. I'll see you tomorrow for the fifth stone.